A real good chance for goal there has Danny Crates. Going in stature and confidence. Now I have a belief in life, and I believe life doesn't put hurdles in front of you that you cannot handle. I believe everything in life happens for a reason. Well, Danny Crates has got the pedigree, certainly. He looks very comfortable at uh, 200 metres. They've slowed just a little, and that was probably uh, Danny Crates um, instigated that. Behind them now is Nkunda Bira of Rwanda. He's come up to take over the lead with Crates tucked in on the inside. So I came back to the UK, and I decided immediately straight away I wasn't going to give up on life. I was going to get back out there, and I was going to give life a go. So I chose what I like to call the Jack Daniels Road to Rehabilitation. Kundavera is going to lead them through 400 metres. They hear the bell. Danny Crates sitting comfortably in second place. Being led at the moment by Rwanda's Kundavera. Over the next two years of my life, between 98 and 2000, I was about to find out that it's not always the big changes that you make in your life that make the big, big differences. Sometimes it is those subtle little changes the ones that take much more to put into place and take a lot longer to implement. But they're often the ones that can lead you on to great things. 80 metres to go and Danny Craig is going for gold. There is no doubt at all who is the best 800 metre runner in the Paralympics. It's Danny Craig of Great Britain. He absolutely tore the field apart. He did some real damage in that last 200 metres. And so the Corringham fan club of Danny Crates can go wild now and that is exactly what they're doing. Danny Crates is the Paralympic champion over 800 metres. Brilliant. When you achieve an ultimate goal in life, whether that be in sport, business or life in general, what do you do next? Well I believe you have two choices. You can either sit back for the next 20 years and do nothing but tell everybody how you succeeded. Or you set yourself a new goal and new targets to reach it. So here we go with Great Britain and Danny Crates. What a wonderful moment for the Thurrock Harrier. I bet his training group down in Thurrock will be absolutely adoring this moment, as was Sir Phil Craven there sitting up in the stand. It's an amazing opportunity, um, especially with London just four years away. It's incredible. Actually, Danny looks very emotional, doesn't he? he looks a little bit of, it, You can't describe what this moment's like when you're in front of the whole British team. You've got all the Union Jacks in the crowd, um, and it's, it's very richly deserved for Danny Great. I urge you, never be scared to make decisive decisions in your life, because you do not know which defining moments they can lead you to, and you don't know where they can lead you to. But to achieve all this, I think you have to live your life by one simple rule, and this is how I try to live my life. I believe we should never dwell on life's mistakes and misfortunes. We should learn from them, we should move on, and it will make you a much stronger and a better person.